We've all done it. Played petrol station roulette. You know how it goes. You're running low on petrol and you put it off and you put it off and then you just don't know if you'll make the next station. Well, have you ever stopped to wonder what's the best thing to do? Should you drive really, really slowly? Or maybe try and coast as much as possible? Or maybe just get it over with, go for it, and drive as fast as you can to get to the station before you run out? Well, today on Brainiac, using this Brainiac mobile, we're going to find out. <laughs> For this experiment, the Brainiac Mobile will no longer get its fuel from the standard fuel tank. It'll now get it from this specially designed visible tank. This enables us to monitor the effectiveness of each method. OK, so for my first attempt, I shall be using the slowly, slowly approach and resisting my natural inclination to just boot it and see how far an almost pedestrian pace will get me. It works. OK, here we go. Right, I'm accelerating gently. Let's get up to 30 miles an hour. The idea is to drive around this 500 metre course as many times as possible until the fuel runs out. We'll record the number of laps completed and compare our results at the end. Actually, this is quite boring. All this tarmac and I'm only allowed to go 30. It's a crime. Slowly but surely, the fuel is going down. The sooner the better, I say, get this over and done with, and then let me give it some proper foot down welly. Any slower, and I might as well be towing a caravan. This is torture. The object of this experiment is to determine the best way to get to point B with very little fuel. Now, while this method seems to be efficient, it's not without its hazards. The other danger of this technique, of course, is that you actually do die of boredom, crash. Then you've got more worries than just running out of petrol. Still, this is science, and we can't let boredom stand in the way of discovery. I'm sure Ernest Rutherford even had a few dull moments before splitting the atom. Eventually, with 13 laps under the belt, the fuel is almost gone. And believe it or not, it's starting to get exciting. Oh, I've nearly got through all of the petrol in the bottle, which means I'm going to be down to just whatever is in the lines on the carburetor itself. In fact, that's it. The last bit's gone. Amazingly, this method is so efficient that I managed to complete another two and a half laps. Oh, oh. Thankfully, method one, after 15 and a half laps, is finally over. Rescue, please. OK, so the going slowly technique took me for 15 and a half laps. Join us later on Brainiac when we try method number two, the accelerate and coast technique. See if that takes me any further. Come on, then. Come on, press on. Brainiacs are getting weaker. So now I try method two, the accelerate and coast technique. Basically, I'll accelerate to 40 miles an hour and then put the car into neutral and let it coast. Once my speed drops to 20, I'll accelerate again to 40 and then coast again and then so on until I run out of fuel. See if this gets me any further. Strangely, I don't think it will. The success of this theory depends on whether or not the distance I travel while coasting is going to be more beneficial than the amount of fuel I use getting myself back up to speed. Now we're slowing, now we're slowing, now we're slowing. Now we're slowing. OK, now I'm accelerating. Of course, this method also has its challenges. Oh, no, I'm at full speed into the corner of that post. It's very difficult. It doesn't like it. I'm slowing. The engine stalled. Start it again. The Brainiac Mobile really isn't the most highly tuned vehicle, so this method is also using extra fuel restarting the engine. I have to break. Oh, no. After eight laps, it looks like this is going to be close. The fuel consumption appears to be about the same. Have we found a more fuel-efficient way of travelling? Not to break a little bit. For this method to be a success, we have to beat 15 and a half laps. OK, I nearly used a bit of fuel in my bottle. So then I'm going to be back on whatever's in the line with the carburetor. 
With method one, I managed to get two and a half more laps out of the petrol remaining in the fuel line. I don't know if this method will go the distance. Oh, I think it might have gone. I don't know. Oh. And that's it. Close, but not close enough. Just one and three quarter laps short. Well, so much for the accelerating coast method. 13 and three quarter laps. Didn't do so well. And though I shall try a third method. Basically, I'm going to go as fast as I can, as far as I can, before my petrol runs out. So, will this bat out of hell approach get me and my strange friend any further? No doubt about it, this method is definitely going to be the most enjoyable. Well documented that having a heavy right foot isn't the most economical way to drive, but it would be irresponsible of us to tell you that without actually proving it to you, wouldn't it? Yes, this is much better than crawling along at 30. With my foot flat to the floor, I'm able to get up to 55. However, because of the Brainiac Mobile's handling, I am probably travelling some extra distance through the corners. Method 1's 15 and a half laps is the best distance so far. Then after four laps, I can actually see the fuel disappear before my very eyes. At this stage, I've used loads more fuel, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to finish well short. Still, it is a hell of a lot more fun. After seven laps, that's it. No more petrol in the tank. All that's left is what remains in the fuel line. How far will it carry me? Not very far at all. This method was fast and furious, but not very effective, completing a grand total of nine laps. So, more highly scientific proof, as always on Brainiac, that if you are going to run out of petrol, driving like your granny will make what fuel you've got left last almost 30% longer than going like a bat out of hell. Of course, it is also more than 100% more boring, but hey, you can't argue with science. I can't start the car, I've got no petrol. Stay here.